terrorists, we're not no gangsters, we revolutionaries, and that's how we rock. Yeah. Hey, yo. What it do, huh? Split and fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. You, you hit it with one of mine right there, boy. <laughs> but hell yeah, man. Shit, man. We could go on forever. I mean, shit. We could do a part two. I don't know. We could keep going however you want to do it. Nah, I'm going to get you on up out of here. I'm going to get you on up out of here, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Man, we ain't talked about the beeps. We got hella shit to oh, talk about. Y'all even I, talk I, about it. No, hold on. I'm saying this. I know this nigga ain't over here nodding on me again, man. Because he do got this shit bad. He probably using bathroom or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll one until this nigga get back up in here, man. But yeah, so come on, man. Let's, let's move forward. So yeah, so let's talk about the beeps, man. Let's talk about it. Speak on it. Um... Game, man. That that beef wasn't even supposed to happen, man. Game, nigga, was a nigga that I, that I saluted. Nigga, I still think he was one of the dopest, if not the dopest nigga coming out of L.A. with the bars, my nigga, far as bars, nigga. I'm sorry, Ken, nigga. Kendrick, Game, nigga. Them two niggas is bar guys as far as this shit. So I still get props and props as due. When I met the Game, he gave him nothing but props. You know what I mean? I met him at a, uh, the Jada Kiss party, Interscope Jada Kiss party. And um, this is mid beef with, with 50, you know, and um, I see him in, in the VIP. He got his own table, his own section. I'm over here with my section. I'm like, man, that's a game, man. Let me go holler at this nigga, you know, give him some dap and check the temperature also. So I come, you know, directly to him, you know, and his crew, whatever, they all in there. Boom. He's standing on top of the motherfucking um, the couch. I stand on top with him like, I'm young man. I'll be like, oh, nigga, I love your shit. I'm like, I love your shit too, nigga. I heard you with Dre, nigga. Do your motherfucking thing. Put the coast on the map, my nigga. And he said, yeah, I heard about what you got going on. Well, whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm out of that, bro. I'm neutral. I'm saying, man, please stay neutral, man, because I got love for you, nigga. You dope as fuck. Nigga, going to take the West, put the West on top. So, boom, that was our conversation. A month later, man, this man, a month later, he has a song. He does a song on a five on the beat called I Got a Mill, Mill on It. And he going in, you know, and I'm like, God damn, I just seen him at the club. We was cool. It's cool breeze. What the fuck happened? And I'm thinking like, OK, 50, like, nigga, this is from your side. And my lightweight. I'm too right. big to get at this nigga. Right. So he, he sick game on me. Just like how Jay Prince sick me on them. You yeah. feel me? That nigga right. sick game on me. So um, once I seen that, I'm like, OK, here we go. And I know. I think this nigga is the dopest nigga coming out the West Coast at this time. I'm like, ah, oh, he want to go. <laughs> he want to go. So I go and I, I tear them niggas ass up with, with game over one. I kill Buck, all them niggas. I kill game, Buck, 50, everybody, right? Yeah, this no, is when, this you came is when, with Dino, that shit, though. I ain't going to front. Uh, you came, you came with some Dino, that shit. Look, I'm in L.A. I know the rumors at this time. I know about change of heart. I know about the tongue ring. I know about the strip club. I know all of this. And I said, I mean, I was saying in my mind when I met him, I'm like, if anybody in that crew, I got everything on this nigga. He bet not jump out the window. I said that shit. He jumped out the window. I said, tongue ring. Let's go, my nigga. I, ooh, 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 ooh. Nigga, it was the quickest response in rap history. Nigga, I responded in an hour. Recorded that motherfucker and had that shit right online within an hour, my nigga. I had the studio at my house. I heard him. Oh, for real? I wrote that bitch like in 10, 20 minutes, laid that bitch and uploaded that bitch. The fastest response in rap history, nigga. Game yes. over. Do your research. I responded, nigga, in an hour. They posted that bitch. My shit was up an hour later, nigga. Tongue ring. Change of heart. Stripper. All that. I put all that out there. And then after G Unit go bad with the nigga that used all my ammo. Oh, you was a stripper. Oh, you had to use on change of heart. I threw that out there. They didn't know that. So and then he did an interview or something after that. 
shitting on me again. So me and Gonzo is in DC. This is when Gonzo jump in the cage. You know what I mean? We do game over part two. He, he shit on me in some interview. You know what I mean? So me and Gonzo out there, and we got a nigga that sound like 50 Cent. So we got him on the hook from D, from DC. So we got the 50 Cent sound nigga on the hook. He doing the skit and shit. <laughs> Look, all the way in. We do the song. Next day, we do the video. Video budget, $90. I bought some G-Unit shoes and a G-Unit shirt, my nigga, and the bandana. Nigga, that was all niggas on the block. We in D.C. in one, one of the most notorious hood, nigga. The 38th Street Outlaws, nigga. Yeah, I mean, Algerio, nigga, that bought the whole hood out, nigga. And one day, the, one of the bosses of the hood looked like the game. But he was a, he was short. But he looked just like the game. So we had the nigga dress up in the pink G-Unit shit and all that. Oh, man, we killed it, my nigga. We killed that shit. We, and we got act, we got right soon as it happened we got right on that shit man right on it my nigga so game over too we killed that and then uh shout out to speedy speedy hit me up to get us to squash the shit so that's when we did the the um the little squash the the squash the beef track but then he on that bitch shitting on gonzo you know what i mean so after the fact after the fucking fact and i'm like after, speedy, after, speedy, after speedy came in and mediated then right. he turned around and went at Gonzo. Right. And then I, I Speedy was on me because I was going out of town. I was going on tour. So I dropped my verse first, and I'm bigging him up. Like, nigga, at this time, he got the black drop top SL 500. I got the gray one. So I'm like, we back to back 500 drop tops. I'm bigging this nigga up. And then, you know, I get a verse of Speedy, the session to this nigga. And then when I hear it, nigga, game is shitting on niggas. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Speedy, what's happening, bro? What the fuck happened? He said, bro, out of pocket. I ain't told that nigga. Well, what, 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 he just put the shit out. He took it. I'm like, God damn, man. But uh, after that, you know what I mean? We met up again. Shout out Chuck, man. Incredible Chuck, man. Chuck, Chuck put us together and really officially squashed the shit. So me and gang been cool forever. We straight now. But that was a nice little war right there, man. Because that nigga's a, a, a gas guy. That 300 bars, nigga. I'm, he probably threw some shit at me on them 300 bars, too. That nigga was killing shit. So the uh so so the game beef came after you and fifty. What what brought about the fifty shit then? What what happened with you and fifty? I, I told you the shit that when the labels got hit. I oh, don't know. Shit. Yeah, I'm, at the same time, I'm thinking fifty is the truth. I'm banging the shit out of this uh, get rich or die trying. What up, blood? What up, cup? I'm a fan of this shit. Like this is what rap is missing. And I get a phone call. I gotta diss this nigga. You hear me? Mid listening to what up, blood? What what up? Hey hey hey, it's, it's fucking Jay. Yeah man, <laughs> I, and Jay then looked out for me with all these beefs, like with the massive P beef. You know he told Pete keep it on on wax. You know don't touch your hand on this nigga brace, or we going there. You know what I mean at the same time, you know they doing business with Master P, and I'm getting that Master P on my album. But him and Jay doing business. They doing homies and thugs with Scarface and Master P albums, compilations. So they, they fuck with each other. So, you know, out of respect for Jay Prince, Master P didn't, you know, fuck me over. He could have. You know what I mean? Like, we heard stories about what Master P done did to artists out here. You know what I mean? So he could have fucked me over. But the respect that him and Jay Prince have for each other, you know, he stalled me out. You know, yeah. same with the other niggas. I, I assume too short. Got a lot of power, but you know, respect that him and Jay Prince and Scarface got, they stalled me out. So when he asked me to do something for him, you feel me? And you making sure I'm good, nigga. Man, I'm I'm a soldier. I'm a team player. Nigga, you've been looking out for me. This all you asked for me, nigga. What else? You hear me? So I went. And that's how it happened, you know. Loyalty is royalty, my nigga. Man, yeah. the cat you know? cats say that, but they don't live it. They speak. Nah, I'm, I'm lawyer, nigga. Yeah, you know, niggas, niggas say all that and, and think because it's just a word to say, nigga. No, you gotta really stand on that. You gotta stand right. on it. You gotta fulfill them shoes. Them niggas, man. I had more beef with them niggas in Jabu, like literally. So it's like, come on, my nigga. I stood on that. Period. And how long? How long did the uh, fifty beats uh, last? How long was y'all after, after the Spider Loke uh, situation happened? Me and Spy Loke chopped it up. Shout out T.Y. You know what I mean? My real OG that squashed our beef. Um, we met up face to face. You know what I mean? And um, squashed it personally. You know what I mean? After that, you know, we was rocking with Young Buck, Sebo, and the Outlaws was rocking with Young Buck. I tapped in with Buck. So after that, it was just dead. 
You know, we was rocking out with them niggas at this point. Rocking out with Spider Low. We been rocking out with Spider before he got the G unit. That's the whole thing. When niggas at the Black Hole Studio, remember Black Hole Studio? Everybody was through that motherfucker. Spider Low, everybody, Magic and them, everybody's at Black Hole Studio. Shout out my nigga, um, it's my nigga who had it. Um, God damn. I, anyway, <clears throat> so I meet Spider and them at Black Hole before G unit. You know what I mean? So I knew this nigga way back. You know what I mean? So we is cool. You know what I mean? Oh. So when that see you and this shit happened, it, it you know separated. Us. Separated. So so yeah. so so it's, it's easy to say then you and Spider Loke video. I mean you and Spider Loke uh beef sprung based on the fact because he took sides. He was on that G unit team. And I'm on my side. He on his side. I'm on my side. And we wow. seen each other in, in a clash. So that's how that happened. But after that. T.Y., you know what I mean? A nigga from his hood, you know what I mean? An OG from his hood. My OG, that always held me down since I moved out here. You know what I mean? He also squashed my Master P beef, too. But um, T.Y., he got me in, um, we met at his shop. You know what I mean? Fathead, Fathead Clothing. Remember Fathead? That had Fathead. Benjamin Franklin. Yeah. The, 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 yeah, T.Y. So he hooked, he hooked us up and shit. We squashed our shit like men. Nobody, no crews, just me and Spider Logan. We talked it out. So after that, I was done with it. You know what I mean, Pierre, we both agreed that we funking for niggas that we don't even really got nothing to do with. You know what I mean? So, boom, that's how me and Spider Low ended that. We've been cool ever since. You know what I mean, period. Right. So, um, as far as the game, cool with the game. <laughs>